Hi, my name is Jacob Ackerman, and in Spanish class, I go by the name Quesadilla. Today, I'll be reading you Chapter 3 of Stella Diaz Never Gives Up. Chapter 3. As the afternoon progresses, I move on from drawing to reading. The book I'm reading now is the greatest. It's from the library, and it's about Sylvia Earle. She's a marine biologist and the first female chief scientist for the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Lately, she's been working to save the oceans through her organization, Mission Blue. Reading about her makes me think that girls like me can accomplish big things. I close my eyes and daydream of exploring the ocean when I hear jingle jingle, clickety clack. I perk up. The sound of keys and high heels lets me know Mom is home. I run toward her. Hi, Perla, Linda says to Mom. That's always weird hearing people call Mom by her first name. Hi, Linda. Looks like you're finishing another fabulous project. Linda smiles as she holds up a chihuahua-sized sweater that she's knitting. Mom wraps her arm around my shoulder. Hola, mi inteligentísima hija, Mom says. What amazing things did you learn today? So much, I think, but then I remember the absolute most fascinating thing. I grab my other book and flip to a page. Did you know there's a volcano in Antarctica? Wow, it's on Deception Island, I say, pointing to the picture of a black volcano surrounded by icy blue glaciers. Increíble. You know, talk of Antarctica puts me in the mood for ice cream. Want to go, me more? The day has certainly become exciting now that Mom is home. As Linda grabs her tote bag in one hand and biscuit in the other to leave, Mom asks her, Linda, would you like us to bring you anything from Oberweiss? Mom tried a few times to pay Linda for babysitting me twice a week, but Linda always refuses. She says that's because she loves my company, and that's payment enough. Still, Mom insists on giving her a little something every time. One scoop of vanilla with a cake cone on the side, please. Biscuit just loves a bite of the cone. Biscuit barks. I can't tell if it's because Linda said his name or if he really wants a cake cone. Either way, by the wiggle of his tail, he looks delighted. Mom changes quickly into her comfy clothes and we head to our local ice cream shop. What ice cream flavor are you going to get today? I ask Mom as we walk down the street. I'm practically skipping. With her being so busy at work, it feels like a special treat to be able to hang out with her. No say. I need some inspiration. Mom insists inspiration is important. It's what gives you an idea or sparks your imagination. For Mom, inspiration at Oberweiss comes from sampling a few flavors. Right after I order my favorite, lime sherbet with nuts, Mom is immediately inspired. After one look at cappuccino chocolate chunk, she's convinced. I'm digging a giant spoonful of lime sherbet when Mom gets home. I've got some exciting news from me, Estrelita, an email. My eyes grow big. Stanley? Mom shakes her head. No, but still very exciting. We heard back, I interrupt her. Is it what I think it is? She nods. You've been accepted into the Shed Aquarium summer camp. I almost drop my ice cream as I squeeze Mom with both arms. When does it start? It's not too much money? My mind is filled with questions. A little over a month from now, and not at all, especially since I saved up for it. I exhale. I'm so proud of you, Stella, she says, patting my head. I grin. Mom is proud of me just like she is of Nick. Better yet, I finally have my own adventure for this summer.